Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, in the today's class, we will see um, I think now it's visible, no problem, right? Everything is good, fine. So we will start the new course that is manufacturing engineering. Okay. See, the manufacturing engineering is a very See the weightage wise you can you see the, the manufacturing it carries around 15 much so the subject you you won't neglect this subject this subject is very important okay from the gate examination point of view right so uh, we will start we'll just a minute okay we will see in the today's uh, we will see this course Okay, I will try to complete all the syllabus of this also. So uh, now I would like to request you guys, please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe the channel. Okay, so the lecture number one, that is the introduction part, we will see the first. Uh, first we will see in the introduction, we will see what the syllabus is. See the syllabus in the manufacturing engineering is C here. In the module one, let me take my profile pic here okay see in the module <clears throat> as as the syllabus concerned okay uh, at the gate around 22 in the gate it will carry around for gate examination it will carry around 15 to 20 marks 20 marks okay so in the in i think in the gate uh, 2019 it will be asked for around 20 months so this subject is very important okay so uh, uh, you are uh, you should you, you should not neglect this subject as per the gate examination point of view consider right so see this is what about uh, so, uh, and the in the ac i think it's around coming okay in the ac it will cover up to 70 marks okay in the ESC paper so this is a very important so we will study this subject the syllabus C will I have divided this syllabus into two modules the module number one and module number two okay see the module number one is very important almost 80 to 90 percent is covered in this okay and in the module number two okay very less questions are asked I will explain you See, the introduction part is, yeah, as usual, you should know this, right? Uh, this is, a, the introduction part is very important also. <clears throat> okay, if you see the theory of metal cutting, okay, the gate, for the gate, it's, it's cover around 5 marks. See, the weightage of this, right? The 5 marks weightage, again, the casting is also very important. 2 to 3 marks, 2 to 3 marks, the casting will ask in the gate examination. Okay, see the metal forming again one of the most important. See the for the metal forming around four marks in the metal uh, forming. Okay, four marks definitely will come in the welding technology covers around. Let me change the color here. See the welding technology comes under two to two to three marks. I think right the welding technology. If I am correct, right and the metallurgy again it's one marks. See like this the weightage is there okay so the most most of the questions will ask from this module okay and in this module it's around three to four marks okay this will cover around three to three to four marks right this the module so we will we'll, in this course we have more focus on this that is module number one okay okay now uh, now see the, see the introduction part in the introduction part first question comes what is manufacturing the way everybody's in everybody's mind this question will come first what is the manufacturing see in in broad sense the manufacturing is the process of converting uh, raw material into finished product you understood means suppose i have a raw material uh, if i give you example of this uh, uh, Hey, see the uh, for how you will produce the bricks right brick see the brick how i'll convert the brick let me change the color 
I think yes, the white will be good, right? See, I have to convert this brick. How I will convert this brick? First, I have to do. I have a raw material of clay. Clay is a raw material for me. Okay, this is a raw material, and I am converting into it finished product. Okay, this is what the manufacturer. You understood? In oh, let me answer this once again. In broad sense, manufacturing is the process. It is a process, right, of converting raw material into finished product. That is what this manufacturing is, and the manufacturing involves. Okay, these are the very important terms. That is the first is that is a product design. See, manufacturing involves three three steps. Three steps. That is first, you have to do the product design. Then after doing the design of the product, you have to go for selection of the raw material. Then sequence. Right. <clears throat> See the selection of the material is very also very important. Suppose you have to design a car, right? But after designing the car, you have to which material, right? Which is a, a low cost, more efficient, like like this. You have to select the material, right? So the product design in the product design stage itself is covering, but selection of the raw material after designing, right? So this is also the second step in manufacturing, and the third is uh, sequence of process through which uh, raw material is. converted into finished product okay these are three steps in all in manufacturing okay now the next <clears throat> see now uh, the manufacturing manufacturing is the backbone this is a very important segment this is a backbone of any nation why this is a this statement i have written here see this is a backbone of any nation See the economic health of any nation directly depends on the level of manufacturing. Higher the level of manufacturing, higher will be the standard of living of that nation, right? See, you know uh, the Japanese Japanese country or American countries. These are the yes in our country also the manufacturing is good. It's not that much, but they are um, too much advanced to us right now. That's why right the manufacturing is the backbone of any nation right the economic health of any nation directly depends on the level of manufacturing higher the level of manufacturing higher will be the standard of living of the nation right okay the next see the manufacturing also involves the process in which manufacture the product itself used to produce the other right see in this statement what see in the product design let me uh, In the product design, see in the, in the product design, what we are doing? Anybody have answer in product design? What? See, product design means what to produce, right? What to produce, uh, right? This is what the product design means. What I have to produce? What my need is, right? And to fulfill that need, what I have to produce? That is what the product design is, right? You understood? Okay. <clears throat> okay. The next. Okay. Yeah. See, the manufacturing also involves, right? The process in which manufactured product itself used to produce other products, right? See, suppose I have a scissor, right? So, so scissor I have to first produce, to produce, or I have to manufacture the scissor first, right? Then I can use for other to use that product. to make the cloth also right this is what this statement is telling us right the manufacturing also involves the process in which a manufactured product itself used to produce the other products right okay the next see how this word comes see the word manufacturing comes from latin word okay uh, the actually it is the latin word that is manufactus which means made by hands right this is <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay this is manufactures means it's a latin word right manufacturing is a, actually manufactures is a latin word and from this manufactures the manufacturing is comes right and the meaning of this manu, manufactures right manufactures the meaning of this in latin right it is made by hands made by hands right means made by hands this is what the manufacturing is you understood 
now see <clears throat> in the in the modern sense uh, the manufacturing is the process of converting raw material into finished products by means of various processes machinery energy and operation through well organized plan right see this 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 these words are very important right see by means of a various processes machinery machinery is also required the energy is also required right see the electrical energy is also required right uh, and the opposite see you have to operate this machine then you need energy that is what the electrical energy okay uh, and the operation through well organized plan the organized plan must be well in the manufacturing process okay now the next is that is value addition what is this value addition means anybody have answer see the value addition means when a product is manufactured then it undergoes a number of processes right when a product is manufactured then it undergoes number of processes in each process a value is added right into the product you understood this into product on the account of use of material time and utility see use of material time and utilities right the utilities means suppose i have to make one uh, one uh, a one clay pot I have to make like this, right? So see the the value of the clay how this clay will form, right? The from the soil, right? So for this soil, some you you can't sell this, or you will not get any. This is what the soil, right? So the value of this soil is zero unless and until you convert this soil into some uh, pot, okay? Clay pot. If you create a clay pot like this, then then there is a value addition right value addition okay this is what the useless soil is totally useless right so this will be the value addition you understood you are converting this see if i go in the market and sell this can i sell this soil no it's not possible right but yes i can i can sell this pot right which is made from clay right clay pot i can sell this is what see in while while uh, a preparation or manufacture of this clay plot i have to use material which is soil right the time also there while making this and the utilities utilities means i have to mix something right that is see only the soil cannot from the soil i cannot directly convert into pot right the utilities means i have to add some water okay or the color which type of the color in the market it's required that thing i have to add this so that i will get convert into this and also the one more example suppose the bricks right how i will prepare this brick see from the soil i have to add okay and i have to bacon that's right uh, add the utilities that is the water i have to add in in the soil then I have to bake it for a long time, right? Means time is also required. So these are the three important that is material, time, and utilities. These are the very important terms, right? So this is what the value addition. Now the next, now see the, the types of products, right? There are see in the market there are two types of products. One is the discrete. I will explain you what the discrete and what the continuous, right? Uh, see the discrete product means the product you are getting like this means suppose the car you are if you are a car manufacturer then this will be a discrete product right so see uh, it will not continuous product it's, it's a discrete means short short means one car is manufacturing then other car like this you understood the continuous means there will be see the continuous production will be going on i will give you example so that you will get i will I get idea of this see the discrete products example of example of discrete products right discrete products and the continuous products 
continuous products see here yeah, see uh, the uh, the discrete product means the manufacture of the car right the cars means see the one car one two three like this they, they, they are not continuous right so uh, see if i here if i in the continuous if i write the wire right the wire or rail track rail track right so these are the continuous right the pipes also pipes seats this comes under this continuous products you understood and discrete product means fan car fan bulb motorcycle motorcycle this all comes under the examples of these are the two types of the products which are in the market right so the first one is discrete products we understand what the discrete means these are the examples and the continuous product means these are the examples of that product okay you understood now now the next now we will see the difference between the manufacturing and the production okay most of the times the student in the interviews oral interviews many times this question will be asked so we will see that what the difference between manufacturing and production see let me let me tell you the manufacturing is the process of converting raw material this thing we already seen means the process in which we are converting raw material into finished products by using various processes right means the machines energies uh, the utilities that thing that is what the manufacturing is right means it's a process right production is a, a process of converting input into output let me take my uh, the profile pic here so that you will yes now i think it's visible to you guys right okay see here see uh, what the production is production is a process of converting right production is a process of converting input into outputs right every type of manufacturing is a production but every production is not manufacturing right see here both are the processes in one you are converting uh, raw material into finished product that is what the manufacturing is and in the production you are converting the in inputs into the outputs I think you guys understood this okay now the next difference the difference between manufacturing and the production see the next is that is a manufacturing is a just step while production is a system right see the man only you have to just convert from the raw material into finished product right in the, the process what is called as manufacturing but in the production is it is not like that production you have to see all the sales marketing industrial engineering everything you have to see in the production right that's why the production is a separate branch also which is different from the mechanical field right so <coughs> so manufacturing involves process like casting right casting machining these are the processes right this is what called welding is also right the heat treatment is also manufacturing processes while see the product in the production there are certain steps you have to follow first you have to forecasting means you have to make the market survey how much amount of the uh, the, there will be the sale that thing you have to see the forecast means you have to uh, first you have to judge you have to take a judgment right before uh, production of the any compound or manufacturing of the any product you have to take a judgment of this is what doing in the, the forecasting which comes under industrial engineering department right the next there will be you have to manage that everything also right then maintenance see the manufacturing is only one step right here the again you are in the production you have to <coughs> sorry you have to do this inspection also quality control right the customer services all the things this includes in this production okay see the manufacturing is limited to goods only while the production is not limited to goods but it also includes services you have to provide the services right that thing is important in this manufacturing okay the next that is See, the compulsory resource in the manufacturing is man and machine. While in production, compulsory resource is man. See, let me give one example so that you will get 
the idea of this statement c in the production suppose uh, i have one college c i have i have one engineering college right so in the engineering college do you require any machines for that there is a production also right the students are taking the knowledge going at various places everything they are doing right so this is what the production right so the compulsory resource is only the man is there nothing machine not not anything required now i am teaching you guys right so uh, there will not be any uh, machines involved in this right so see if i teach this is what the machines are involved obviously here because i am yes i am teaching you this online right but see the offline teaching okay suppose i come to your class and i start teaching then you doesn't require any machinery right so just only the, for the production the compulsory resources men while in the manufacturing men as well as machine is involved right so <laughs> okay see for a successful business a manufacturing activity must be responsive for the several demands and trends like right see this is what the introduction part i am telling you actually the manufacturing subject is not started right so uh, before starting that you should have a, a backup of this right you should know so please prepare proper notes take the notes properly and keep with you okay <coughs> this thing will not you asking yet but you should know this right what which subject we are studying and right. whenever you go any industrial then somebody from the introduction part there will be many questions you will be asked right so in the in the gate there will not be any questions on this so you need not worry but uh, as a uh, you should be uh, clever in this that's why i am telling you this all see for the successful business a manufacturing activity must be responsive for several demands and trends like see first is <coughs> a product must satisfy the design requirements right this is the, see the design requirement is very important first the product must have to satisfy if it is not satisfied to the design requirement then your product will be no use right that's why a product must satisfy design requirements specification and standards certain standards must you have to follow also that thing is also very important see there is there is many european standards right the indian standards which is handled by this ri right so this thing you this uh, should know right see the next is a product must be manufactured by most economic method right so the economy will be the most important in this the third is a product must be manufactured by environmental friendly right <clears throat> okay the fourth the quality must be built into a product at each stage right of manufacturing see at every stage you have to do, uh, see there are many, many stages in all in the product <coughs> the manufacturing of the product there are many stages in all right so so at each stage you have to uh, see suppose there are many operations suppose turning pressing uh, then next drilling threading many operations are there right so at every after every process see once turning is happened uh, whether the desired diameter is achieved or not at that time at that stage you have to get quality do the quality check this right this is what the quality control is right so the stages at the last if you done this then the product will be uh, rejected right so this is a loss to the company so that's why the quality control must be at every stages the next see in a highly competitive environment production must be flexible enough to respond changes in the market demand right okay the next is the wastage should be minimum right this is also very important now the very important term what the lean manufacturing is see in broad sense if i talk the lean manufacturing is is a waste free manufacturing means there will not be any wastage see the actually this will not there will be the wastage but in the lean manufacturing okay waste free manufacturing very less uh, uh very less wastage right in the lean manufacturing is takes place right so the next is 
now the very important that is the standards right so what the standards you have to follow see every company has settled their standards right so the standards are very important see a standard is a document that provides requirements right what the requirement that it provides the specification it tells the guidelines also tells or the characteristics that can be used consistently to ensure that a material product process and services is fit for their purposes right so you understood what the standard is standard is nothing but one document right that provides the see in the standards everything is written what for the product right for that product what specification what the guidelines are there right <coughs> so that can be used consistently consistently means this is also very important use the consistent means for design of every product right uh, you have to use this consistently to ensure the model product and services fit for their purposes right so now the standard there are many there are uh, there are many standards but uh, the two standards i will tell you that is iso see the iso stands iso is a standard right and it stands for international organization organization for standardization right international organization for organization for standardization okay and the again the next this is handled by international okay and the bis bis is the bureau of indian standards and formally it is known as the isi means see in most of the products you see in the isi marks right so the isi stands for indian standard institute this is what the isi now there are many standards okay how this uh, formulation of the standards uh, first we will see i think the meaning of the standards you understood now see the formulation means uh, this iso right this is what the organization right this is a organization organization the second that is 9001 remember the field of standard field of standard right this tells us in the field of standard means which whether it is in environmental field or it is a quality field or a design field that this thing tells us it's 9001 right so this is what the first term right the first formulation this is the second and this is the third see the the the, the last that is a 2008 will tell you the year of establishment right in which year the standard is established that is year of establishment establishment right so this is what how the formulation of the uh, this standard there are many various standards okay the some see some important standards i will take an year see the 9 iso 9001 which is a quality management system right it means that for the quality right the quality ladder if the it is iso 14001 okay it's a environmental standard right so 22000 it's a food safety this is a very important that is food safety management system being mechanical engineer okay if you are from automobile the so this standard is very important which one this and for the company this standard is very important right uh okay now some other standards also there are see iso 26000 right it is a social responsibility management system right uh, then then iso 45000 which represent the occupational health and system right uh, 50000 1 which is the energy the, the, see the energy management system is very important again <coughs> <coughs> see there are many uh, <coughs> The, the renewable source of energy non renewable source of energy right the wind energy uh, we uh, wind energy tidal power plant there are many types of energies are so how on that right this energy this standard is based that is 50001 and this standard is very very important right see the word energy comes then it involves the, the word energy is very important for mechanical engineering students right so you should understand the energy in deep 
so you have to watch my all lectures of thermal thermal engineering right uh, from that section the thermal engineering heat transfer thermodynamics all subject you watch my all lectures i have created the playlist for that also okay the next that is the type of the manufacturing process now see the manufacturing process are there are now the, now we are just slowly slowly we are entering right into the syllabus i uh, mean the main syllabus up till now the introduction part is over okay now we will slowly enter into this see the conventionally there are three types of manufacturing one is a zero process manufacturing second one is a positive process and third one is a negative process right uh, we will see a one by one what the zero process is see in the zero process suppose see the casting see it is a process in which mass of the object remains constant so so if the mass is constant right so this is what the zero process see and the example of this is casting right in the casting whatever the amount you pour in that right this will remain in in forging also right the forging is also a zero process right these are the examples of this zero process now the positive process is it is a process in which mass of the object is increased see in the, the example i will tell you mass of the object is increasing that means mass is increasing in this right in positive processes see depending on the mass whether mass is increased or decreased or constant if it is a mass is constant then it is a zero process if uh, uh, if the mass is increasing then it is a positive process and the third is that is a if the mass is negative then it is a negative process right so the positive process if mass increases in the welding right welding riveting right in this process it is a these are the positive processes right the negative processes are the example see here the mass will be decreased right the mass of the object will decrease means machining see in the machining which is our uh, the next chapter will be we will start from this machining see in the machining in the turning right we are reducing the mass in the turning operation right <laughs> now this is a very important uh, before starting to the machining that is what our next topic is uh, the regenerative manufacturing we will see what is this see it is the advanced manufacturing technology in which solid object is obtained by layer by layer this is very important that is layer by layer accumulation of the raw material right so it is also called as rapid prototype means layer by layer you are accumulating this is and these are the three processes okay that is uh, uh, there are three types of regenerative manufacturing one is the fdm that is fusion deposition molding the second is lom that is laminated object manufacturing right and uh, the selective sintering right and the last one i think there is four let me check yes these are four the fourth one is stereolithography okay so you need not to be go that much detail okay you understood that means see any product i am producing the layer by layer the material is coming like this suppose i have to produce cylinder like this the layer by in all the three process like this it is happening right this is what the regenerative manufacturing right so so now the selection of manufacturing processes right see the selection of manufacturing process is depend depend on a uh, four steps these steps are very important please i will just read but you understand this very carefully number of the parts how much whether it is a mass quantity mass production or it is a, a batch production right that's it depends on the manufacturing process selection depend cost of the object the next is size and shape of the object okay and the properties means like surface finish right and the accuracy or the uh, the quality control gdnt or, or the if suppose it is assembly then it is fitting with the other parts also right it depends on that also uh, the next is that is the fifth is that is the surface finish right means just this the property the surface finish also come this right surface finish and the accuracy required to the object okay guys then i think with this we'll stop for the today's class 
okay in the next class we will see the machining today we have we had a little introduction of this manufacturing in the next class we will discuss the machining part okay which is a very important so don't miss the next class and uh, thank you thanks for watching uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the like button and share with your friends thank you bye